one. It's just a just a lazy bolt cutting afternoon. Just a lazy bolt cutting afternoon, hey? Uh, somebody's just trying a lazy to get bolt cutting in the afternoon. I like it. You got evicted or something. <laughs> uh, are, we, are we good? Yeah, man. You go. Okay. This is Darren Flower for Rocket Up TV. I am the original PR nightmare, a loose cannon. But today I'm on my best behavior because I have a musical celebrity guest over Rocket Up TV. And this guy, he's sporting an aphrodisiac smile. <laughs> um, he looks a little too pretty to be ugly right now. Oh, but. Um, He's played in Age of Electric, but now he plays in Limlifter. Ryan, it's uh, yeah, Darren, so nice, nice to meet you. Buddy, yeah. meet you. I, let's I've, try uh, it again. One more let's try it again. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Okay, hold on. I don't want to hurt yeah, your, uh, okay, yeah. your picking hand over. It's the, tight, it's the time that you. T yeah, it's time. Okay, that was a little bit better. Right? Thing. Yeah, there okay, we go. It's all about timing, whether you're playing Slowly, yeah. in a show or shaking uh, hands. Okay, so Ryan, I have a couple of minutes of your time. Thank you very much for doing this uh, for, for me. Thank you for the plectrum. <laughs> cool. Yeah, make sure you use that. Yeah, I, will, yeah. I got a, a chance thing. to give that to you last year in the, the Hamilton, uh, This Ain't Hollywood, and you broke oh, into yeah. Vicious, one of my favorite Lynn Lifter songs, oh, uh, which we'll touch upon in a second. Okay. So I wanted to start back on uh, the early days of Age of Electric. You know, you guys who have been on the scene, what, 22 years, 23 years ago? Yeah. How did you make the transition? 27 years ago. <laughs> damn. How did you make the transition from Age of Electric, which was a quite a different sound, to Limb Lifter? Was it because you felt like you needed to be the captain of your own ship? You had another side of your musical abilities to showcase? Inquiring minds want to know. I was, I would kind of learn how to write songs because I was writing for Age of Electric, so I learned how to write songs for this guy that could sing anything, you know? He could, I could just would write. that be Todd Kearns? Yeah, yeah, so I could write something down and sing a little demo of it or whatever, and he'd sing anything and make it sound good, so. So it was a good experience, it was a good way to learn how to write songs. So I kind of learned how to write songs because my older brother, Kurt, said, write as many as you can, taught. So those mentors really helped me, you know. So being in that band was a really good, uh, is a good way to learn how to write songs. Because I, I automatically started, as soon as I started in Age of Electric, started writing, it seemed to work out. Right. So I just kept on doing it. I just kept on saying, go, go, go. So. It was a good thing, you know, to have those guys around. It's always good to have mentors making you do stuff. So. Of course. And then how do I transition? I think the transition by... Um, what are those guys doing? Getting their exercise Focus, in. focus. <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's okay. It's okay. Girls and dudes. Girls and drive. dudes. Instead Tight of shorts. driving, they're, they're, they're running and getting their exercise. Um, so yeah, I think the transition because I, I kept on writing songs that were you know, I was kind of like branching around to different things that were maybe off of the... Some of it didn't fit the Age of Electric yeah. Uh, sound? Yeah, and I kind of developed this little pile of songs and then Kurt was again really instrumental in, in like being really uh, supportive and saying, oh, let's, let's play those songs. So we would record those as well and uh, all of a sudden it became another band that I was singing in, which I hadn't really done before. So. Yes, and wearing a different hat while doing that because you were pretty much the guitar player in Age Electric, maybe did some backups here and there. Yeah. Whereas now that you're like the focal point, the main man, and you have a beautiful voice, not to oh, you know it. stroke your ego. Okay, I'm <laughs> a little bit more, but you do have a beautiful <laughs> voice. So that must have like influenced your decision into into doing Lynn Lifter as well too, right? I've always been a yeller. I yell a lot, and uh, that's how I kind of started. Singing. Ah! <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't really, uh, wasn't really thinking of myself as a singer ever. So, you know, then I kind of transitioned into just writing these songs and just thought, well, maybe I can do this. Okay. But I still don't think of myself as a singer. I think of myself as a guitar player. Interesting. Well, you know, when I was a young kid, I, I played guitar. I played uh, for about 20 years, too. And as a 12-year-old young man, I grew up uh, learning how to play ugly, uh, obsessed with your guitar parts in Untitled, which is brilliant, and oh, butchering the solo for Enya at a 17-year-old uh, uh, stage in life. Um, oh, I, I that did that for years. I just butchered that butchered solo for Enya? years. Enya? It's yeah, pretty tough. It's off timing a little bit too. Was, well, even when we, know, did this, so, when we did the video, um, the, the director said, well, play the solo the way you played it, because I'm, you know, I'm filming your hands. Like, I have no idea how I played it. And it's really hard to learn. So, but we started doing Age of Electric shows again. We did a handful of shows this yes. year. And uh, I learned the solo perfectly just to see if I could. You know. Interesting. Well, one thing about that solo was when you were in the studio, was it kind of like off the, the cuff yeah. or was it something that was kind of mapped out? And you no, had that's to... why it was hard to learn because uh, I was improvising. Trying to yeah. recreate that magic. I got it. Yeah, because okay. we do records fast. You know, you make a record in a day. You know? The first stage of Electric we made in a day. And, then, and so I'd improvise a lot, you know. Right on. Yeah. Um, now, most people are not lucky enough to be in one successful band, but you um, get a chance, got a chance to be in two. 
So, you know, when the Limb Lifter was just getting off the ground and Age of Electric was riding high with uh, the singles of Lee and Untitled and Enya, Enya, Anya, Enya, Enya, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, was it a little bit of friction between one camp and the other because maybe you were uh, diverting uh, too much attention away from Age of Electric? Was it a bit of a conflict of interest? We, you know, not really. It's always jokes with Age of Electric. We've always had just a fun time, so. I mean, we were trying to move forward as much as we could as a band, no matter what. So it's kind of a pretty close brotherhood of people that kind of only wanted the best for each other, I think. Right on. So uh, it's always been good. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess there could be friction in some cases, but it's also two sets of brothers, so it's kind yeah. of a different kind of friction, you know? Ooh, I or, bet there's a lot of fist fights. I guess you don't want to talk about no, that. No, you didn't want to, you don't want to fight with any of those guys. Oh, you look like you could take Todd. No way. No. Yeah? John, John is the toughest guy I've ever seen, ever. Yeah? He used to, yeah. Okay. I won't tell stories. Alright, and not, certainly not on camera. No, there's no fighting, uh, physical fighting between us. It was cool. never like that, no. We're, okay. We have a good time, I think. We like, it was always jokes and laughs. You know? Nice. I think that's what really keeps a band together and survives, you know? It's part and, of the band. and we don't talk about a lot of stuff either, you know? That's what I learned from Age of Electric, that musicians shouldn't talk about music too much. It's not a good thing. Okay. So I've, I really learned that. I really learned how to produce from, you know, my brother and Todd and those people because it's just, it's keeping things light and you know it's no use talking about certain things in music. I think it's good to avoid certain things. So right on. Well, let's talk about the year 1996. That was a big year for Limb Lifter, right? It was, yeah. Because that was when your first album oh, you know, came yeah. out. That's right. Yeah. Bam. There it is. Still yeah. got it. Okay. <laughs> um, you guys are performing the full album. Yeah. Rumor has you performing the full album tonight here at the lovely Horseshoe Tavern. That's a rumor, yeah, we're gonna do that. You guys are missing so much. The, the cameras, there's so much going on as well. Like there's some guys climbing on the roof over here. <laughs> some guy picking cool. out a sandwich out of the garbage over there. Don't don't film that. <laughs> <laughs> don't film that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so you guys, 20 so yeah, years uh, of we're the first play the first album all the way through, mm -hmm. and uh, which is what we used to do in the early days. Like our first show at CBGB's in New York, we played wow. the first album from beginning to end. So I'd never sang in front of people, like never sang lead vocals in front of people. I was, Always dangerously sh shy to sing, so right. And then we started doing it, and it seemed fine. It was okay. Well, that has the thing too, because when you're in Age of Electric and you were that guitar player, um, it's kind of a bit of a mental shift from going from that role to now being like the the, the yeah. front man, the boss, the captain of the ship, whatever you want to call it. Right? Was that a little bit of a mind fuck for you? Um, well, I, I think when you're around people that are really good at something, you kind of take the, another role or a supportive role. So if somebody's really good at drywalling, you you know you'll do all the tiling or something. You'll learn to get good at the tiling, you know. Right on. So I think that's what it, what it was with my brother Kurt, who plays drums. He's also just a really amazing singer. So uh, he was always like a better singer. So he would always sing, and you know, and and with Todd, it was like, oh, he's an incredible singer. It's like, oh, how did we get in a band with this incredible singer, right? So you kind of you kind of shift gears and go, okay, well. I'm not going to learn how to sing. What way to do that? You know. So, so I basically learned how to sing by default by singing backups and singing demos and writing songs. And it's like, oh well, I'm not bad, you know. But that. Well, think I, I heard your sound, uh, your soundtrack. I heard your sound check, and I can definitely tell everybody out there on Facebook land that he's not bad at all. He's actually quite good. <laughs> I've gotten better over the years. Like when you when you finally become a singer, it's like, okay, well, I got to do this. So. Well then, now there's another question I wanted to ask you about Limb Lifter and, well, Age of Electric. Uh, Age of Electric, I think, showcased your killer guitar chops. I don't know if Limb Lifter, you get, uh, it's kind of de-emphasized a little bit. It was you know, de-emphasized. It's really, yeah. not really all about like 16 bar solos. And I was surprised playing. when we went back to the Age of Electric songs and I had to learn all the songs. I was like, wow, that solo is really long. I, and I, I don't know why. So, but with Limb Lifter, I, I guess because I was concentrating on vocals so much, and we wanted to write really short pop songs on the first album, so I really concentrated on that. So I got more into other things, you know, like once you do something a lot, you kind of get it out of your system. And, or at least I do, you know, I should maybe stick to things a little more. And be like, okay, I'm that guy that does that, you know. But I did notice that there's a couple other guitar players uh, on stage. Now, mm -hmm. I used to play in a three guitar band, and it was quite chaotic at times, people stepping on each other's toes, yeah. some parts people play unnecessary. Well, How do you find, is it a bit of a juggling act? Um, 
it, does it take a lot of time it's and effort time. to coordinate? Play? Second night. Second night with three guitar players. We've never had three guitar players. But one of, uh, somebody uh, doubles up as keys as well too, right?